This lesson will go over how to void a check in Power Church and follow the process all the way through bank reconciliation. Checks can be voided in the Accounts Payable module or in the Payroll module. To void a check that was created in the Accounts Payable module, we'll go to Accounts Payable, Void a Check. You first have to look up the check number, which we showed on the first screen, and enter the check that you wish to void. PowerChurch shows you the detail of the check number that you type in, so you can confirm before you void the check. The record of the voided check is now in manual checks, which you can edit before you post an accounts payable. We can take a look at the record in Accounts Payable Maintain Manual Checks. This is the manual check record. If it is deleted before posting, the check will not be voided. Notice the check number appears first, which is handy in the reconciliation window to locate the check and the check that's voided. After posting an Accounts Payable, the record now appears in Fund Accounting Modify Unposted Transactions. Although it is possible to make changes here before posting in fund accounting, any changes here will not be reflected in accounts payable. Notice the journal code shows that this entry came from the accounts payable module. Also, after posting in accounts payable, the vendor record is updated, which we can find in accounts payable setup, maintain vendor records. The history tab shows the original invoice the check that was cut for the original invoice, and the voided check. Next, we will void a check in Payroll by going to Payroll, Void Check. Payroll is set up a little differently in that entire payrolls can be voided over a range of dates, or a partial payroll from a range of check numbers, or a particular pay group. In this case, we will select one check to void. PowerChurch gives the detail of the check and requires confirmation before voiding. The voided check now appears in unposted payroll. If this record is deleted before posting, the check will not be voided. Once posted, the information will appear in fund accounting. In Fund Accounting Modify Unposted Transactions, the information can once again be edited before posting. However, the Payroll module will not be updated. Notice the journal code shows that this entry came from the Payroll module. After posting the voided checks from the Accounts Payable module and Payroll, we can take a look at the reconciliation process. First, we'll enter the information off the bank statement. Notice the voided check record appears in the deposit window at the top and the original checks appear in the check window at the bottom. The voided check and the original check can be reconciled together with no net effect on the balance. 